It's a very exciting movie. It's a bit like being stepped on for two hours. You feel like your, your breathing is slightly restricted. Mm. Now, what is so impressive, Jessica, in many ways about your performance is the, the monologues and these huge speeches you have. Was there any point when you're doing them where you're like, in your head, you're thinking, this is going great, but if I get to the end and forget the last line, I'm gonna have to do the whole thing again. No, because if you thought that, then you were gonna forget the line that you're saying. You know, that's what happens. If you ever, in the middle of uh, saying a line, if you ever think, and this happens sometimes in theater, if you ever think of, what's my next line? You've lost it. Because there's a rhythm you have to uh, keep on. And uh, you really, with especially a character like Elizabeth Sloan, she moves at such a fast pace, much faster than my, my rhythm, that you, if you've got to play her intention every moment, and you gotta like keep moving forward, um, and if you don't, you've dropped the ball. That is why I dropped the ball in my A-level theatre. Oh, that's really? Why, you yeah, kept dropping I, your lines? I just, it's the beginning, it's the, it's the start, it's the, uh, that's the thing. If you, that's because right, you had the panic before, trying to think, what is my line? Always panicking, I think yeah. that's the problem. You just <laughs> learn to relax. Um, the other <clears throat> interesting thing about the movie is, it's not the hardest sell in a sense that you're dealing with quite intricate politics and current affairs. And especially in Britain, we don't have the same issues. Um, and yet, it's still really exciting. Uh, was that obvious in the writing when you saw it? Yeah, to me it felt like an Aaron Sor Sorkin script. Um, That's what I thought. Yeah, right? I had to it's check that, that it world. wasn't. Exactly. It, um, it's a first time script by Johnny Pereira, who is a Brit, uh, who was working as a lawyer. Um, the day that he paid off his college debt, he quit law and went to Singapore and started teaching English and then said, I wonder, if I can write a script, and he wrote Miss Sloan. Um, I think we're gonna, we're gonna see a lot from him because he really does have an incredible mind and um, and I love the female character that he created. Part of me when I was watching this was thinking, a few years ago, George Clooney would have been, would have done this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that finally Clooney is being, you know, bumped down the <laughs> list of, you know, casting agents are finally realizing. Of political thrillers. Exactly. No. Um, What's incredible is that we've seen male characters play parts like this, um, and we've never questioned their likability or their um, their motives of w or whether or not it was an all right thing for them to do, um, and wanted them to apologize for being who they were. And Elizabeth Sloan is she's a, a woman that um, takes on these these characteristics of being ambitious and prepared and intelligent and ruthless, and. I like that she shatters the stereotypes of what a woman is supposed to be. But the interesting thing as well is that it's not one note. There's that amazing hotel, hotel scene where she breaks down, and it is the mo that acting is just off the scale. That is oh, so good, you. the way you well up. Is that easy for you to do, to get teary when you're talking? Because it looked so realistic. You know, what? It, I don't think in terms of like, okay, I need to get teary, because then usually that means you're not gonna get teary. What, you, what I try to do is like fill up with whatever the character is hiding. And so you fill up like right before action, you like just remember, okay, what, what is she struggling with? Okay, what did she just do to her coworker? So and what is that reminding her of, of her childhood? What maybe did her mother do? Like all these things. And then on action, it's there, but she doesn't want anyone to see it. Um, and so that's the trick you have to play. Where then sometimes it spills out, but then you have to pull it back in. Well, you, and you can do that over and over. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah because if you're forcing something. I'm an actor, something, James. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's what I do for a living, by the way. If you're forcing something, then you can't do it over and over again because it's just all tension. But if you're just allowing it to be new and different each time, it's not like doing it over and over again because maybe the dam breaks at a different point in the scene. And you celebrated your birthday a few weeks ago. Yeah, so I did. happy birthday. Thank you very uh, much. You ate a lot of guacamole. I did. See, I've been following. Did you see my Instagram? No, I have to follow. I've been living with this movie for a while because you've been on the um, circuit for, it, for festivals and things uh, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said you'd spent it in Mexico and you'd had lots of guac. And I thought that is obviously the, the ingredient <laughs> for a good, fun life, is it? Lots Absolutely. of Absolutely. Just... That, the avocados <laughs> and beer. <laughs> <laughs> and chips is also delicious. Yeah. Happy for that. Zane's got a, a, a great voice. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. I've wanted to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah, we haven't met each other yet. Got some lips behind oh. your teeth.